Hello friends and gentle bodies. Okay, so I decided to make some red beans and rice. Um, and I thought I would show you how I do it. Um, I'm going to be making a lot. I'm using my crock pot. And the reason why I'm making a lot is because I'm a trucker's wife. So, um, when I make food, whether it's for myself or for other people or whatever, I always make enough for him to have extra, um, extra meals and I can freeze them so that he always has a home cooked meal um, while he's on the road. And he seems to like it that way. So it saves on money and just gives him a little piece of home while he's gone. And so anyway, what I'm doing is um, I've got my crock pot and I am cutting up the Hillshire sausage, smoked sausage, or smoked whatever you want to call it. Um, you can use Cajun if you would like to use Cajun. You can, you know, you can use andouille sausage if you'd like to use andouille sausage. But for me, I like it full of flavor, not necessarily spicy. You want to do spicy? Go for it. Okay, so um, these are for the chickens. <laughs> so I have a whole length of the Hillshire sausage. And I'm going to put that in my crock pot. I've got these liners to save on um, cleanup and stuff. They're amazing. They are amazing. All right, so this, uh, I've, I've cut it, you know, kind of sliced it to break it down, and then I cut those in half and then sliced the halves. So you, yeah, you get the idea. And now I've got um, socks of stereo, so, stalks of celery. I have four stalks because by the time I cut off the tops and some of the bottoms, they were small because I was getting at the end of my whatever you want to call it. And that sausage is already cooked, so there's no reverse contamination for salmonella and all that good stuff. So don't come for me with cooking vegetables right after I cut up that meat. So it's not, it's not, it's not what you think. So I'm just cutting, man, if I could cut, good Lord, you would think that I would have better knife skills. Um, so I'm just cutting the stalks in half and then slicing those where they're kind of chopped, I guess. Um, and I'm trying to make this all one video. <laughs> I'm attempting to make it all one video. All right, so I have my celery and, oop, almost. And then I have my bell pepper, which I will dice that. Garlic, because you know me, I like the minced garlic. And then, to make it easier on myself, I have the already diced yellow onion. You could use white. White is actually better. It's a better onion for things like this. And then, um, I have broth, which I happened to got, get it on sale yesterday. So, this is beef broth. And then, these are the best kidney beans. Now, you can use canned kidney beans and stuff if you would like, but... I just find that the sauce or whatever you want to call it um, just ends up being better. This particular size is four pounds and there's like maybe a half to a you know, three fourths of a cup taken out but the rest is on there. And so if you use can, I think it's... Um, couple of cans of the 15, what, 15.5 ounces? I don't remember. I never used can, really. I don't know why. It just, I, think, I think these taste better. So, 
We're going to put these piggy beans, put them all in there. Because like I said, I'm making a lot in this whole thing of beef broth because that's what's going to soak into your beans and make them soft and yummy. And what I like about this is basically you can fix this and forget it. Those are my ideal crock pot recipes. All right, so we're going to put those. I've got my onions. If I can open them, good gracious. I'm not going to put the whole thing in here. Um... So it's an equivalency to a whole onion, a whole medium-sized onion. That's pretty good. And then garlic. And you're going to do about the equivalency of three cloves. Which I can't remember the how many teaspoons it is for three cloves. I don't remember. Time to get more. Gosh, I'm using that up a lot. And then, so I'm gonna finish slicing these up. And putting those in there. And so you're gonna cook this on high for four hours or until your beans are soft because sometimes um, crock pots are just a little bit different so kind of like how ovens are I made I made bread in the crock pot that was really kind of cool I've never done that before all right so we're going to put that in there I'm already making a mess. Dang. One day I'll know not to do that. At least I clean it up. At least I clean up my mess. So we're going to do this with the um, bell pepper. Leave that for the chickens. Okay, we're getting about six currently, even in the cold. We're getting about six eggs a day currently, and we have 19 chickens, but um, most of those, I think 15 of those, are um, chicks that we just, that we got this past year, which I, I think you've seen that in my previous videos. Um, so, they're starting to starting to lay and then the older hens are starting to lay got to keep the girls happy They're keeping us happy with really good eggs so and then we'll do another uh, order I guess you could say of more chicks another round of chicks we have a rooster right now his name is Frank we named him, actually my husband named him Frank. And he's, 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 he's a little something else. He's a pretty chicken though. I almost put that big one in there. All right. I'm going to do the rest of this. And then I've got the pink Himalayan salt, coarse salt. And I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. You don't need a whole lot. And then I just got some chili powder, so this is going to be brand new, and you're going to going to sprinkle that in there, probably about two, well, okay, I did a little bit more than two teaspoons. That's all right. It's all right. It's all going to do well. And then you're going to put it on the crock pot for four hours, four hours, or until your beans are soft. And so definitely if you have canned beans, definitely four hours okay so for the red beans and rice I ended up um, adding three cups of water regular water because of the dried beans that just wasn't enough 
liquid and this yeah. is the end result uh -huh. all right let me know if you try it